Hey everybody, welcome to Killer Knives. This is Kevin, and today we have a short and sweet knife and review. And it is the Spyderco McB from uh, Mr. McNeese at McNeese Custom Knives. I ordered this specific version from him. It has the addition of a green anodization on the titanium handle, the addition of jimping, and which it does not come with. Typically it's a flat spine and a best car clip. Um, all in all, the fit, finish, the attention to detail on this knife, um, it's obvious that the McBee is loved by uh, the designer, Mr. McNeese. And I also love it. Very useful. Um, been carrying it around with me and use it to open packages, um, which are at a constant influx here in my household. Um, it's extremely, extremely sharp, this knife. Um, so great job on that. Um, nice thumb hole opening. The jimping is a great addition. Um, it's a little sharp, not going to cut you, but you can tell it's like more of a, an additional uh, blade uh, addition. Um, it was an afterthought, um, but it is nice to have. The clip is very tight, nice retention, so it's, it holds on well in your pocket. Uh, nice thin handle, pretty thick blade stock running on phosphor bronze washers, which are also pretty thick, so those will uh, definitely break in over time and hold you uh, a nice longevity on the, the life of this knife. Um, it is a small blade. The knife itself is very, very tiny. It's about 3.75 inches, maybe a little more, almost four inches just about. Um, and you'll see just how small it is next to its bigger brother, the Delica. Another small knife, the Kershaw Launch 11. Very tiny. There we go, get the focus back on there. And let's see what else can we compare this to. That's pretty tiny. This is pretty tiny. The Formax Scout. So, tiny, tiny, tiny. This is smaller than the blade of the Formax Scout. As small as it is, it's super, super cool. I'm really glad I picked it up. Uh, it has been a useful tool in the household here. And in general, just... It works. It works great. Um, I don't have any problems with the size. It's obviously, you know, a bit of a novelty knife. Um, and maybe that's a little disrespectful. I'm not sure, but it's, it's a small knife. It's extremely useful, um, for small projects in the house. Um, but so are, you know, uh, razor blades and exacto knives. So, it's a pricey piece. This was about two hundred dollars, and um, I'm I'm happy to have it in my collection because it is just um, it's so original. It's it's a great little design. It's made just so well. Uh, it's made just like any frame lock you would come to expect great quality out of. So you know you get a great lock up. It's not going anywhere. You're gripping that. Um, it's not going to close on your fingers. It's not going to break. Like I uh, previously mentioned, like a razor blade or an X-Acto knife, if you're doing a harder, uh, a harder task, you can flip it open just for fun. And you can roll it open with the addition of the jimping as a uh, front flipper. It's not that easy. Um, 
I guess mainly due to the size, maybe it'd be easy if there was more to kind of grip onto and I do have trouble with it. And I'm not sure if it's the frame lock kind of pressing into the blade as I do it, or it just needs to break in more, but great little knife. Um, I highly recommend it. If you want a fifth pocket carry, if you want some pocket jewelry, if you want something that is just kind of there waiting for you when you want to open up some packages, it's excellent. It's super duper sharp. Uh, the craftsmanship is top notch. The attention to detail is also top notch. And all in all, I don't think you could really go wrong with this. It's it's a fun thing. It's it's good to just like if you wanted to just obtain it as a novelty, you're not going to be upset. If you want to use it as a, a box opener or a letter opener or for any small tasks, you're also not going to be upset. So I give this knife a 10 out of 10. It's perfect in every little way, um, all the all the way down to every fine little detail. So why don't you go pick one up for yourself? Uh, if you're you were questioning it, go get it. Don't question it anymore. Uh, the knife is excellent. Um, you can grab it off any knife website for $140, or you can grab it off Mr. McNee's custom knife shop. He uh, offers many, many different customizations. Um, there, there's a plethora of them, so you don't even have to like worry about uh, that it's going to come out like mine. You can get something that looks completely different. And please like, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, and as always, this is Killer Knives, Kevin, and I will have more reviews and another unboxing coming up shortly.